It is Saturday. I have been busy. Like, do you know, like, when you surf the web looking for stuff and then it leads you to more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and then all of a sudden it's noon and you're like, what the hell happened? Yeah, that was me. But this morning, Chase had to get up because I was looking for an over... I'm sorry, I'm trying to stand and all that but anyway um over the toilet uh shelving unit and i looked online they're like a hundred and something dollars and blah 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 i'm not spending that money so i just put on free cycle somebody uh uh responded and they had one so chase went and picked it up today now this is the deal the house is not level and they have um a baseboard you know, behind the toilet. So, we got it. Now I have to figure out. I rearranged it. Now, there it is. Because we need more storage in here. But look. how Look at that gap. Behind the toilet. Are you serious? That looks stupid. And, now it does have the pegs in it. So, it's like not going to topple over or anything but that's just stupid and it doesn't have the doors on it i know it was free so i can't complain but you know whatever it's storage i'm happy about it i just ugh, this house okay now i have to go take my pills eat something and do something else mm -hmm. All right, so I went and took my pills. Sorry for all the shakiness on the first clip. Any all I called my friend Lisette just to see what's up. Okay, don't mind the stuff in the background. It's Saturday, so people are working on things outside. I don't know. Anyway, I called my friend Lisette. Um, you saw her in the video where I was... We're redoing the table, my kitchen table, and painting it and stuff. Anywho, um, I called her, and she did not sound like herself. And she was driving to her parents' house, and I was like, okay, what's going on? And her parents' house blew up last night. What? Okay, now, keep in mind, she was really frazzled and couldn't like think straight and stuff she was so worried and all this but her parents are fine they got out not sure how they got out it was a total miracle um everything is burned everything is melted her purse her you know all the family heirloom everything is gone and the deal is is Okay, she had, her mother had something in the microwave. Um, it didn't smell right to her or something, so she took it out and then put water in it to make the smoke or smell. I don't know. Lisette wasn't, you know, all together. But anyway, microwave, they took it and put it in the garage because it was stinking so bad but apparently it was still like on the inside had burning stuff well it made the two cars in the garage blow up so apparently started fire got to the gas or something in the cars and they blew up and caused the house to blow up and what sucks is they just paid off their house. They just paid off those cars. Um, her dad had a company car. So everything can be replaced. Like, things like that. But, you know, personal stuff. Everything in her purse. Like, everything is gone. She was... Dev now, this is the house that she grew up in. And the house, you know, we are high school friends, so the house that I, you know, used to go to all the time and and all that, I'm just, oh my gosh, I can't. And what's crazy is this morning, I, like, 
incoherently was listening to the news and they were talking about a house blew up and I went on and did something else because you never think, hello, it's my friend's house. So I, I was just like, wow, that sucks. That's horrible. And then went on to something else. And it turns out it was her parents' house. I'm so upset for them. Hey people, it's Monday morning. I did not film anything yesterday because I was super busy doing something that normally would probably take somebody a very short amount of time, but it took me forever because of my dexterity or whatever. I'm trying to use big words. I don't even know if they're correct, but I am going to definitely show you what I did. And um, FYI, just heard about that, uh, website, Pinterest. Now, you guys know, pretty much not been on the internet, not very much like it used to be, um, since I moved into this house. And a little bit before that when we were packing and stuff. So, <clears throat> I had no clue about this website did. Can I tell you already, Beth already told me I was going to be addicted. Didn't believe it. And now I apologize for not believing you, Beth, because yesterday I was on it and I got on there about 8 o'clock. Next time I looked at the clock, it was like 1230. <laughs> what? So, yeah, I had to shut her down and go to bed, but it is addicting because just to get organized and all the really cool things, I mean, I am addicted, people, but I did think of something all on my own before I even looked at the website and I'm very proud of myself. Uh, super proud, actually. So, I'm going to show you. I have to go to my bedroom to do this. Okay, hold on. Alright, so you know these metal shelves that you can get to go above the toilet and stuff? I got one because I didn't know that I was going to get the, you know, one that's cockeyed right now. I'm going to fix that, I swear to you, because um, that bothers me. It's just warped and it's used, and so I can't really complain because it's free, you know what I mean? But whatever, I'm going to fix it. But what I did was I took these things, um, the little hooks, these are the kind that worked. I don't know where I got these. I've had these for like ever and ever. I think probably from like years and years and years ago. At some point. I don't know where I got them. But they look like these. Hold on. I guess I should have prepared. Uh, they look like that. So anyway, they've got the little screw thing at the end. And so this thing has, if you can see, these holes, right? So I just screwed a whole bunch of them in, and I'm going to have to do more, but I got really tired because it's hard for me to do that. But I did it, and now I can display all my necklaces and stuff because... The thing is, is I was complaining the other day I had no jewelry, and then in my jewelry box where it's all hidden and things are on top of the jewelry box, duh, I do have stuff. So I put a whole bunch of those hooks up there and got all of them hanging. And then I need to put some up there. I've got some earrings in there, but I'm going to put the hooks. Um, and then... 
Now, this is the thing. These, you know, the screw parts stick up, and that's dangerous. So, I would suggest if you wanted to put, like, a foam, like, maybe that construction, not construction, um, it looks like construction paper, but it's like crafting foam, um, on there, a few layers thick, I don't know how thick it is, or maybe, you know, batting and some, something, I don't know, but I'm using it to keep my, um, my, uh, what are these, bracelets in place and watches that I don't wear because the batteries ran out. Um, because I can't see that. Now, that one I'd be able to see, but that favorite one, can't see it. I did have another favorite one from Fossil, but an X took it. Um, that's a Fossil too, but whatever. Anyway, um, so I'm using it to keep these, you know, in place since the house shifts. So, there you go. And then I'm going to do some more up there for my earrings. And then the one, the stud ones, um, I think I'm just going to, like, put the, that wasn't a good shot. I think I'm going to put them, like, just through these little holes. So, with the backs on the other side. So, then the studs will be available. Isn't that awesome? I'm a freaking genius. We were going to put this in the bathroom. But now I have to figure out how to fix the leaning Tower of Pisa in my freaking fracking bathroom. But, hey, did you guys notice that I'm in love with hearts? Like, seriously. Right down to the cutest little tiny hearts. And... Hold on, where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's so cute. A YouTuber gave this to me so I could wear it to VidCon last year. And what's so funny is they I would have loved to, but she had it hidden underneath a, like a pair of earrings, like a whole bunch of jewelry underneath. Like, you know how the jewelry cases come and then it's like the cardboard piece and then the earring is in there or whatever. Well, underneath that was a whole bunch of jewelry, and I didn't have a clue that it was there until I got home. I'm an idiot. So, and then I've got these hearts. Bling, bling, what, what? And this one. Oh, this is my favorite one. Really afraid to wear it. Um, what I think I'm going to do because it's only made with, um, like, an actual thread. And then, uh, I'm gonna take it and put it on one of the, uh, chains that I have that don't have anything on it. Or get a chain or something like that. And, um, put these beads on it. Because Chase made this, like, in third grade, I think. And what it is are these little beads... And then these beads, I don't even know if you can see it because of lighting. Okay, so these beads, what they are, are they, they are uh, pieces of um, uh, paper from magazines. And they just took them, rolled them up, and then like put them in glue or something like that, like Elmer's glue. And then they made necklaces for their moms. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? But I'm desperately want to wear it. But I'm so afraid to. Because of the thread. You know what I mean? Like the thread will pop. So I need to put it on an actual necklace. And then I will be rocking that. So. Any hoozles. That was my DIY thing. And I just wanted to show it off and give you guys a tip. Oh, got this at the thrift store, like three bucks. So, trust me, three dollars and then these hooks that I had for years and years and years and probably got them from free, for free, like 
I don't even know where. Like, somebody gave them to me when I first moved out of my uh, birth mother's casa. So, there you go. Talk too long. Love your guts. Toodles, poodles. Kisses on your face. Blah, blah, blah. Bye.